Welcome to Middleton Hall, a Learn English radio series from the British Council. The Attic, Episode 7. Hello, my name's Amanda Carlton. And I'm David Evans. And in this series, we aim to improve your English language skills with the help of a drama about life in an English hotel called Middleton Hall. In the story so far, we've heard that a guest called Mr. Greaves has arrived at Middleton Hall with no money and no credit card. He said that his credit card would arrive soon, and Mr. Middleton has lent him the money to pay for his stay. However, Mrs. Middleton and Sitwell are starting to worry about the situation. Here's what they said in the last programme. They are old friends, are they, madam? Why do you ask, Sitwell? Well, Mr. Middleton is being very, what shall I say, very understanding. You're talking about the problem with Mr. Greaves' credit card? Uh, yes. The new one still hasn't arrived, then? Not as far as I know, madam. <sighs> and Mr. Greaves is spending quite a lot of money. Really? Well, there are taxis to the golf course every day and back again. There are all the meals in the dining room. Let me see, Sitwell. Is this his bill? Hmm. Look at this! How did he spend so much on dinner on Monday? He invited some friends to eat with him. No, and yesterday it was even more. I know, and then there are all the extras. And we are lending him the money to pay for all this. I'm sure there's no reason to worry, madam. I probably shouldn't have mentioned it. No, Sidwell, you were quite right to mention it. I must say, I had my doubts about this arrangement. You see, I've never met Mr. Greaves before. Really, madam? I've no idea how Charles knows him. Well, I'm sure Mr. Middleton is a very good judge of character, madam. Yes, I'm sure he is. But we will watch this situation carefully, Sitwell. Yes, very carefully. In the next scene... We join Mr. Middleton and Mr. Greaves on the golf course. At the start, Mr. Middleton says, Right, let's see what I can do. And then he hits the ball. And my first question is, where does the ball go? Mr. Greaves then says, There's an auction in the village tomorrow. Remember, an auction is a sale where people compete to buy things at the best price. And my next question is, what does Mr. Greaves want to buy at the auction? And one more question. What does he ask from Mr. Middleton? Here's the scene. Right. Let's see what I can do. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, bad luck, Charles. Oh. That's in the water. It's not my lucky day, is it? <laughs> Never mind. These things happen. It was just a bit too far to the left. Right. Let's go and find my ball, shall we? Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. you, you know, Charles, you've been very good to me this week. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Oh, think nothing of it. <laughs> but I wonder if I could ask you one more favour? Of course. You see, there's an auction in the village tomorrow. Oh, yes. Yes, I think there is. And I had a look the other day, and I noticed they were selling a rather lovely silver teapot. Oh, yes. I collect silver, you see. Oh. Antique silver. And I really don't want to miss the opportunity, so... <laughs> well... I was wondering if you could lend me just a little more money. Well, of course I can. Just tell me how much you need. Thank you, Charles. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. So where does Mr. Middleton's ball go? Mr. Greaves says to him, Oh, bad luck, Charles. That's in the water. In other words... Mr. Middleton has hit his ball into a pond or a lake on the golf course. 
The two men then go to find Mr. Greaves's golf ball, and as they walk, Mr. Greaves starts to talk about the auction in the village. And what about my next question? What does he want to buy at the auction? He says, "I noticed they were selling a rather lovely silver teapot." He continues, "I collect silver, you see, antique silver, and I really don't want to miss the opportunity." Antique means very old. And it normally suggests that the thing is worth a lot of money. And what does Mr. Greaves ask Mr. Middleton? I was wondering if you could lend me just a little more money. Yes, he wants to borrow even more money, but Mr. Middleton doesn't seem worried about that. He replies, "Just tell me how much you need." When the scene continues in just a moment. Mr. Greaves finds his golf ball and says, "Let's see if I can get it into the hole." And here are two questions for you: Does Mr. Greaves succeed in getting the ball into the hole? And what does he suggest they do next? Here's the second part of the scene. Right, here's my ball. Let's see if I can get it into the hole.、Hmm. It's not easy. Okay, one. Two, three. Not there. Go on. Go on. <laughs> yes. Oh, 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 oh. Well played, Harry. Well played. You're much too good for me. <laughs> I get more chance to practice. That's all.、Mm. If you played as much as me, you'd beat me every time. Oh, nonsense! I don't believe that for one minute. <laughs> well, as we finished a bit early, why don't we go and have a look at the stuff for sale in the auction? Yes, yes. Why not? I'll show you what I'm hoping to buy. A good idea. So does Mr. Greaves succeed in getting the ball into the hole? Yes, Mr. Middleton says to him. Well played. You're much too good for me. And what does Mr. Greaves suggest they do next? He says. Why don't we go and have a look at the stuff for sale in the auction? Mr. Middleton thinks that's a good idea, and so they go off to the village together. You're listening to Middleton Hall, a Learn English radio series from the British Council. And don't forget that you can find more resources at the British Council Learn English website at learnenglish.britishcouncil.org. In the next scene, we join Mr. Middleton and Mr. Greaves at the auction house. The woman who is in charge of the auction, the auctioneer, asks them, "Can I help you?" And how does Mr. Greaves respond to that question? Mr. Greaves then says to Mr. Middleton, "Let me show you the teapot I was talking about." As they walk around the room, Mr. Middleton says, "She's got a lot of really good stuff here, hasn't she?" And Mr. Greaves replies, "Some of it's rubbish, of course, but not all of it." Mr. Greaves then says, "You have to know something." What does he say? You have to know. Here's the scene. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can I help you? We'd just like to look around, if that's all right. Of course. If you have any questions, just ask. Thank you. Right. Let me show you the teapot I was talking about. It's over here at the back somewhere. She's got a lot of really good stuff here, hasn't she? Well, some of it's rubbish, of course, but not all of it. You have to know what you're looking for. And I'm sure you do, Harry. I'm sure you do. Now, here we are, the silver teapot. What do you think? Oh yes, I like that. And it's heavy. Yes, it is nice, isn't it?、Mm, absolutely top quality. And I'm hoping I can get it for a very good price. Is everything all right, gentlemen? So when the auctioneer says. Can I help you? How does Mr. Greaves respond? He says, "We just like to look around. 
if that's all right. The auction will take place the next day, so the two men are only there to look, not to buy. And as they look at the things for sale, what does Mr. Greaves then say? You have to know. He tells Mr. Middleton, "You have to know what you're looking for." He then shows him the silver teapot and whispers, "I'm hoping I can get it for a very good price." You're listening to Middleton Hall, a Learn English radio program from the British Council. When the scene continues, the auctioneer sees that they are looking at the teapot and says, "You have very good taste. That's one of the best pieces here." She continues, "There are one or two other things that might interest you." But then Mr. Middleton interrupts her, saying. Look at this! I'm sure I've seen this before. And here are three questions for you. What has Mr. Middleton found? What does he say they used to have at Middleton Hall? And what is he going to do when he gets back to the hotel? Here's the second half of the scene. Is everything all right, gentlemen? We were just admiring some of your things. Ah, the teapot. You have very good taste. That's one of the best pieces here. But there are one or two other things that might interest you. If you come over here, just a moment, just a moment. Look at this. I'm sure I've seen this before. What's that? It's a statue of a little girl. Ah, yes. It's lovely, isn't it? That came in this morning. Yes, yes. We used to have one just like this at Middleton Hall. Actually, we had two. One of a little boy and one of a little girl. Really? I remember they were on a shelf in one of the bedrooms. The little boy had his hands to the side of his mouth as if he were shouting, and the little girl was just like this one, with her hand to her ear as if she were listening. Exactly. I haven't seen the little girl for years, but I remember I saw the little boy somewhere. Well, you should see if you can find him. The two statues together would be worth quite a lot of money. Really? Oh yes, a lot of people collect this kind of thing. Why don't you have a look when you get back, Charles? I will do. Actually, do you know what? I have an idea. I saw it in a cupboard. Well, what does Mr. Middleton find? The statue of the little girl. The auctioneer tells him that came in this morning, and we know it was brought in by Maria. She and Kevin rescued it from the rubbish bin at Middleton Hall, and she is now selling it because she wants to make some money. What does Mr. Middleton say they used to have at Middleton Hall? He tells the auctioneer, "We used to have one just like this at Middleton Hall. Actually, we had two: one of a little boy, and one of a little girl." The auctioneer tells him the two statues together would be worth quite a lot of money. And so, what is Mr. Middleton going to do when he gets back to the hotel? Mr. Greave says, "Why don't you have a look when you get back, Charles?" And Mr. Middleton replies, "I have an idea. I saw it in a cupboard." So, will Mr. Middleton be able to find the statue of the little boy? And will Mrs. Middleton find out that he's going to lend Mr. Greaves even more money? Join us again for the next episode of our story, The Attic. But that's all for today. You've been listening to Middleton Hall, a British Council Learn English radio series. And remember, you can find more resources at the British Council Learn English website at learnenglish.britishcouncil.org. Until next time, from Amanda Carlton and me, David Evans. Goodbye. Goodbye.